Hey. Sorry for that. But, uh, y'all know we're just gonna get some meat. Let's crack this some beef up today. So, I got this little bit tin kind of thing. Um. Mm, it's like sugar beet or something. It's by Cloac. That's what we're going to be spitting in today. But I'm going to be showing all the stuff I bought. But, yeah. Damn it. but let's crack this some of the chicken real quick. So, okay, we got cracked. Now, I never tried this. My friend Travis, he's a dipper. He told me it, it was like a seasonal dip. So, which pretty likely means to me that it's good dip. Oh, shit. Wait a minute, guys. Okay, guys, I knew, wait a second, sorry. Solder for the delay. Colton. Sorry, guys. Um. Sorry, something's spilling in my thing. So I'm gonna put a dip in. Now let's see what this smells like. That does smell good. One dollar off with a key cuban. Grizzly at mygrizzly.com. I really don't like to smell. I really don't like to smell, but. No, I really don't like that smell, guys. But let's just put. I'm gonna put a small one in, and if I like it, I put more in. Cause I really don't feel like. It. If I can dip Copenhagen straight, I can dip this. So, I mean, I kind of like the small. I kind of don't. Um. But, uh, let's get us a pinch. That stuff is packed. Can't even grab a big pinch. This small pinch, we're gonna put that in. See if it tastes good. Like I said, my friend said it was a seasonal dip. He said he got tired of it because he dipped it a lot. But let's, let's put a swan in real quick and see if we like it. If I do, then I'll put more in. So. So, let's talk about something. Let it settle, you know. Now let's talk about what I bought. Oh, this is cool. Okay. I'll see that balloon. I wonder, I hope y'all know, I got my thing back, because my brother got one, so he got it back to me, so. 
So, so I just stand down before I kill myself. Now my fucking room looks like shit because of cotton. Like, y'all know how like crying Christmas food tastes like, you know, that real sweet Christmas taste? That's what he means by seasonal. Getting a little bit. Let's put some more in and see if we can get some more chance. Mmm. All y'all know I'm real clumsy with dip, y'all. All y'all know. All y'all know. Like, all y'all. <laughs> all y'all know I'm. So. All y'all know I'm clumsy with dip. Let's let that settle. So yeah, I see why it says it's seasonal because it kind of does taste like it has like a little Christmas taste in it. So yeah, so I'll show y'all what I bought today. Um, so first thing I bought was this. Where's the fuck me up? I bought. Why am I spitting in this? I'm supposed to be spitting in this. Oh, that tastes good. So, um, I'm spitting in this today. Um, but. It's hard to get in that little bitty, little bitty hole. But, I bought me some gloves. Let's go ahead and take that off. I don't like spitting in that. That's like a camping kind of thing. I really don't like spitting in it. I'm just like good outdoors. But. Um, so. So, I bought some work gloves. Because I need them when I drive the tractor. I'm gonna do a video about it later when it starts raining. So, uh. So, I'm gonna need some of these when I drive the tractor. Because we have so much briars that I need to bush hog. And it always, like, something always hits my hand or my arm. And. Like, I hate it, and sometimes I have to get off the tractor and move, like, branches and stuff. Most of the time, I don't have to do that, because I just get the bucket. Get the fuck out of my way, bitch. That's what I do. I just, just let the bu I put the bucket down, and then I, and then take it and dump it somewhere. I did a stump like that one time. I'll tell y'all a story about me doing a stump that way one time. Take this goes off of us. Um, so... One time, I did need the gloves when I did that stump. So, as a stump, always in our way. Always. So, I said, I'm going to go ahead and knock it down with a bucket. Now, I thought it was going to be hard to knock that thing down. But, I barely even tapped it with that tractor bucket. And, it just fell over. Fell over. Like, like what the fuck? Like, fell over nowhere. Um... Um, so, then I just, then, like, I was on a hill about like, about like that. About like that. Not really about like that. Well, about, about, about right that. And the stump was right here. I had a tractor right here, so I pulled it up. Pushed it all the way. And then the freaking stump went going like that. That was a heavy-ass stump, by the way. Heavy as fuck. And, that's why about, I can't even show y'all how big it was. I could do like that. About, probably about like that. This stump was probably about like that. Probably bigger. Um, about this tall. Probably 
How about that tall too? And uh, so I pushed it out of the way. And, um, and I can drive a tractor very well. I love driving tractors. I enjoy it. It's my it's like my hobby. It's like my hobby in the summer. You know what it says my hobby hobby. We have a wood burning uh heater. Um like a heater in the living room. Um I get like one time it's snowing and I got a tractor out and and you know one thing I don't like about tractors? One thing I don't like about tractors is uh when you put it in a rabbit, you know, before you go for the fast. I had it in that when it was snowing one time, and it wouldn't go up that hill. So then I put it, no, that happened to me, and it was pretty aside. It don't spin, it just it don't have enough power to go up. And, uh, so if you have it in a rabbit, it's very hard to go up a hill. Like, it won't even go, like, it don't have enough power to do that. All tractors like that, because they're so heavy. But anyways, um... Um, but anyways, um, I put that thing and put it in, put it in turtle, right in the fucking hill. And, uh, I was in the field, like, three weeks ago, bush hogging, and, uh, probably last week. It wasn't last week, it was two weeks ago, two weeks ago. And, uh, and I was bush hogging over there and backing it on up in there, and then, uh, I don't know what kind of cord it was. Like, it was a heavy-duty cord. Like, it was, like, those wire. I don't know if it was, like, I don't know. I think it was for power or something. I don't know if I knocked the power out of there or something. But I cut all the rubber off of it. I really did. I cut all the rubber off of it with a bush hog. I didn't knock me to. I was watching a video the other day, and he called it a brush hog. He called a bush hog a brush hog. <laughs> I guess you can call it that if you wanted to, but that's not what I call it. But, but, no, but, you know, but, but, anyways, I picked that stump up, put it on the bucket, and I just took it, like, about, probably about 50 yards into, because we have, like, this wooded area, and we throw all the boards, all stupid boards, roofing stuff and everything. So I took it over there and dumped it in there. Oh, and in the winter, I really do like, but I like putting, like, because we have a wood burning, we have a wood burning, uh, heater, so we'll go to the shop and we have a lot of wood down there, um, bullshit like that, and I like putting the wood on the bucket and taking it up there, it's fun, I like backing the tractor up too, I enjoy riding a, tr I enjoy driving a tractor. If I enjoy riding a tractor, I bet I'll enjoy driving a big truck. My grandpa is a truck driver. Which I said I live with. He's a truck driver. He can he can drive a truck good. He can back that fucking he can back that trailer anywhere. That big ass trailer, he can back it up in there. He's the best driver I've ever seen. He really is. I'm not saying it just because I'm related to him. I'm saying it because he really is the he really is good at driving a big truck. At his work, they have twenty eight they have twenty seventeen Max. Mac Max semi trucks, you know. They're nice. They're nice inside. It has a bed and a bunker and it has freaking all kind of, it's nice. Um and that and you know. I wanna oh I wanna learn how to drive a big truck because my grandpa started driving a he started driving a freaking truck when he was about my age. He really did. Like, back, you know, back back in the freaking 50s and 60s, you can, kids could drive anywhere, you know. Like, he didn't drive it on the roads. Like, he drove, he drove, like, dump trucks and stuff down, uh, dirt roads and stuff. And when he was a, he was a kid, he had two, he had two, um, you know, manuals. One, one had, uh, you know those old ones, they have two, they have two manual sticks, one of them has one, two, three, one of them has three gears, and one of them has seven or six, or five, either one, either one works, mom, but you have to switch that, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you switch that other one, but most people, 
when they uh when they have two when they have two manual sticks, they'll just they'll take that one two three and they'll wrap it around that one two three six one two three four five six and then when I change that one two three four five six, that one two three will change too. Cause you know, I mean I could. So so you have to be quick. You have to be quick to drive one of those two manual sticks. You have to change that one two three four five six and then you have to change it like you have to change the other one fast. But my grandpa said he never used like he never used it. He just but but you know he said he didn't use some gears. He just you know he he just left it in some. But I never seen my grandma my I never seen my grandpa drive a stick. But he he can drive a stick. He drives big truck sticks. But he drive, you know, those manuals. He can drive those, but they're 2017 Max. They're automatics. He said he don't like it. Because they're so, they're rough. They're rough. Like, they bump a lot. Not the gears, but the, you know, like, the truck, it bounces a lot. He don't like it. He likes the Volvos. Of course, the, the Max are nicer, but... If I was driving a big truck, I would want a manual. I would. I would. Because, I mean, I feel like it would be fun to drive one. I really do feel like it would be fun. That's why I want to drive one. My dad can drive a stick real good, too. Guess that's where he gets it from. But, like I said. But, let's talk about this, uh, Grizzly Dark Minute. It really is a seasonal dip. I don't think I'm a... I don't think I'd like it over the mint, regular mint, but it's pretty good. But it'll have to last me. I think my sister's boyfriend is gonna get me another can tonight. Like I, like I really do. I need to start saving it because sometimes I know, I know. I don't support. I'm really. I like. I'm being dead serious. I am kind of addicted to dip, like I really am. Like, I can't go one day without dip. Like, I really can't. And sometimes I have straight, so I had to, I had to dip that. But. I know they say, um, if you can't support your habit, don't, don't do it. But I can, I can support my habit. I dip, I could probably do about three cans a week. At the most. I could dip a can in two days. That last can that I had, that this it lasted me two and a half. It lasted me two and a half. So, but anyways, um, I don't think I'm gonna dip. You do have like a little Christmas taste in there. Like I, I feel like this dip would be for like. I feel like this dip. Oh, you taste so far? What's up? Um, but um, I don't think. I don't think that I'm going to dip Grizzly Dark Mint over the Grizzly Mint. I think I'm going to stick to Grizzly Mint just because cause I like, I don't know. This has like a real Christmas taste to it. Real, kind of real sweet. For me, this is sweet. Like it really is sweet. But I don't, like I said, I don't think I'm going to dip it over Grizzly Mint. Okay. You do stuff all what you doing out here? I fix my hat a lot. My brother, he got, my brother, what he got with his money, he bought some skull, uh, one again. Let me go get it real quick. I'm gonna try it. I'll be back. So, I'm gonna spit this uh, grizzly mint. Taking a lunch break. What are you doing out there? Working, man? Working out there? But, anyways, um, I'll try some uh, skull extra on wintergreen. I don't know. Taking a lunch break, man. It's pretty good. 
let's try some of this. That is a strong, that is a strong smell. Working? I got my. What do you do? What, where do you work at? Like, you know, what, what do you do? Mm. I don't like that. I really don't like that, bro, but let's do a different view of skull. Landscape work, miners. Do you drive zero turn or do you do tractors? Do you like drive on mowers, tractors, or weed eat wood? What do you do, man? I do all that. Like, I do that all around the house. I drive a zero turn. Um, man, zero turns. I love zero turns and tractors. Want to skateboard? You ever drive tractors out there? Like big tractors, you know, like bush hog. You ever do that? Yeah, I really don't like school, but. Man, I love driving tractors and zero turns, man. I bet you drive zero turn, though. Cause most most people are starting to get zero turns instead of those uh regular old uh mamas. Skid steer. What is that? What's a skid steer? Never heard of it. Is it a lawnmower? What is it? This tastes so much. Don't do a lot of mowing. What's a skid steer? What does it do? Bet you wear some of these sometimes. Bob bobcat. Okay. Bobcat, real. Bobcat's pretty good. Never drove bobcat, but I drove tractors before. Do you ever wear some of these? I just bought these today. I need them when I drive a tractor. Do you ever wear these sometimes? I bet you do. I told them that's a buyer. Then um, they can get it. Let me see. They can sell it, but to CRF. Small machine for grading. Oh, okay. CR CR one fifty F. The the, is the front end so, or something wrong with it? Mm -hmm. There, uh, um, I have to, like, let me tell you. Uh, I need to right. And it, it, it needs a sprocket, a battery, and a, uh, fucking, what else does it money all do? Fucking something like that. I can't remember. But um, it'd be about one fifty to fix it. I'll save. I'll save up them. What is teeth off the uh, teeth off sprocket messed up or something? Yeah, but uh, if I got it, then uh, if I, I'm gonna. I said if somebody wants well, to buy it, took it off. sell it, but. I said if okay, here. somebody wants to buy, buy it, then sell it to them. But mm. if, but I'll take, I'll say I'll text them when I get the money. But uh, it's it's in Georgia, so well, yeah. ask him how what what kind of car does he like. I wear leather gloves sometimes, but wear boots and jeans daily. I wear boots and jeans. Too. Hell yeah. That's about all I wear. Yeah, that's all I wear too sometimes. Except for when school starts. Yeah, when school 
when I, at school, I don't like wear boots and pants because I have gym a lot. And they won't let you do gym if you wear boots and pants, which I don't know why, but. But, uh, what kind of car do you like? Just asking. I, I like Ford. He likes Chevrolet. I like Chevrolet better than Ford, but I, he don't like Ford whatsoever. I mean, if someone would give me one, then I, if I if I had like thirty thousand dollars to go get a truck, or like eight thousand, I would go buy a Chevrolet. But I'll tell you his answer. Can you go away, please. Bye. Bye. Did you get your phone? Huh? Did you get your phone? It's almost dead. Hey, close that door. Do you, drive, do you drive a truck? That's what I want. I want to I wanna, uh, buy a 2005 F-250 lifted. That's what I want. What kind of boots do you wear? Um, I'll show you them real quick. I wear... Uh, They're Tony Llamas, by the way. They're Tony Llamas. They're, ton they're Tony Llamas square toe. I'll get mine at Boot ETC. My brother, he wears Justin's. What kind of boots do you wear? Do you wear work boots? Oh, another day, I forgot to tell you, when you said on Instagram you're about to go eat supper, I'm glad, I'm glad you say supper, because that's what I say, that's what my family says, um, most people says dinner, I don't, I don't like, I don't like people saying dinner. By the way, my phone, by the way, my, me and my grandpa goes, we say breakfast, dinner, and, and uh, supper, that's what we say. Yes, I drive a truck. What kind of truck do you drive? But, but, uh. What was I saying while ago? But, uh. I didn't know for this morning. I had to. I definitely like this better than this. Definitely. That's all. It's a better. It's pinch better since 1934. This ain't. A pinch better ain't better than Grizzly or Copenhagen. But the reason I dip Grizzly is because Grizzly lets me, you know, Grizzly lets, lets Justin work boots square toe. These, these are work boots. They're, uh, they're Tony Lama work boots. Colton's is, uh, Justin's work boots. Yeah, but these are work boots. You, the, we, the reason you can tell if boots are work or work boots. These are these are still toe too. No, they're not. They're not still toe. But the reason you ninety five Ford truck. Mine, good job. But uh, the reason if you can tell if they're work boots if they have these. Know, did you know he knows our MTV? Like not in person, but. But the reason you could work, okay. know if they're work boots, they have like, you know, cowboy boots or just, they're just regular flat flats. They're like, they're just regular flat bottoms. But I really don't like flat bottoms because you don't have much grip. Nine five four truck. Man. I like Ford. Do you like Chevrolet? I like Chevy and Ford and Dodge. I don't like any other truck. 
I like new Tundras and Tacomas, but I'd rather go with a Silver Auto or some or F-250. I really don't like F-150, but I, I mean, I like F-250s. I like big trucks. My cousin, he said, he said he don't like big trucks. He likes like Rangers and stuff. I mean, I like little, I like F-150s and stuff, but I'd rather go with a F-250 or F-350. But Silverado, I like their, F2, F, I like their, with Silverado, I like their uh, 1500s and stuff. But with a Ford, I'd rather go with a F-250. Not a real big F-150 fan, but, I mean, I'll take it. I mean, I like them, but. I like big trucks. Yes, I do. <clears throat> Good. But, uh. I'm gonna cut this door all the way. Have you made a video lately? When's the last time you made a video? I'll go watch it after this live stream. Where's the other boy here? Dang it, I done popped it. I'm gonna pop I was gonna pop it with this. At the beginning of the video I popped four balloons with this. Like I said the other day, you y'all y'all probably know that I had it hanging up there and I was sitting in here doing something on YouTube, editing something or something. But it fell it fell and hit me in the back of the neck. I'm glad it didn't go like this, but it went like this and hit me in the back of the neck. It kinda hurt. It didn't cut me, which, yeah, I'm glad it didn't cut me, but. What is that noise? I don't know if that's my phone or Colton's phone. How well does the skull pack in the lip? It, it packs all right, but I mean it packs better than Grizzly to me, but but I like Grizzly better. But uh, the skull pack's good in the lip. The best one to pack in the lip is Copenhagen. It, like skull pack stays packed in the lip better than Grizzly to me, but I'd rather go Grizzly any day. But like I said earlier, the reason I like Grizzlies is because I, the reason I buy Grizzlies is because it's cheaper, and and uh, it like you know it it uh you can let you can put it in your videos on like Copenhagen. Oh dang it! Hmm. Hope my channel don't get a strike. Frick! I put this in a video. Dang it. I put U.S. Snuckles Tobacco on my video. I put Skull on my video when I wasn't supposed to. Dang it. But, I'm not supposed to put Skull on my video either because it's U.S. Snuckles Tobacco. Which, it belongs to Copenhagen too. So, um, this link belong to Copenhagen. This is made by me, American Snuff Co. But, d these are made by U.S. Snuckles. I wasn't supposed to put Skull on that video, so... I'm still gonna upload it though. Forget it. This channel done how to strike too. This channel done how to strike. Like this channel really done how to strike. Like I tried to live stream one day. Like when I first started this YouTube channel. And uh and it said your channel had copyright or something in it. Or some 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 bullshit. Because it was posing my theme song. Like my intro song. It was the likes kicking up. Uh, no. It was, uh, Keep It Redneck. Yeah, that was a song. And I wasn't supposed to. My first channel got shut down by that stupid kid. 
that got on my live stream. I was gonna give a free can of free can of dip out, and you already probably know, but I'm gonna explain it again. And uh, and I said first one on my stream gets a free can of dip, and uh, he thought I was talking about bean dip. But anyways, um, where is that noise coming from? It's starting to annoy me bad. But anyways, um, so he thought, he, I showed him, I showed him where it said, uh, let me find it real quick. Um, and I'm trying it on the skull cane. It has it on the skull cane. Well, let's don't have it on it either. Well, anyways, it says on the skull and Copenhagen cans, it says this product can cause mouth cancer. And he, he got mad and he said this is not a good influence on kids. I'm not influencing on kids. I just like sitting in front of a camera um, videoing about dip. He, I, he, he said he said he thought it was a drug. So. Hi, Big Papa. Dude, you're literally standing on your knees and you're acting like, dude, you're, I mean, I mean, I am your big brother, but I'm only a minute older than you. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm really bigger than you, but... But I'm older than you, by a minute. Because when I was, when I was, was, was in the womb, you stole my nutrients and stuff. He about killed me. He, he about killed no, me. No, he didn't. He liar. He about killed me. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. He's a liar. Don't listen to him. So, uh, you got coffee machine up in this bitch? You got yeah. your grizzly? I got a caribou here. You got your grizzly? Yep. I got my skull. You got your grizzly? How do you like the skull? I hope you didn't put that skull in the video. I did. It's just Muckles Tobacco. You realize that, right? Fucking, uh, grizzly is. No, it ain't. That's American. Snuffco. Oh, shit. You serious? Joe, your channel's about to, probably gonna get a strike. Mine doesn't got a strike. When I first when I first got this YouTube channel I had a strike. Which I'm probably gonna get a strike again for putting it in the video. Kodiak is just smoking tobacco. No it ain't. Kodiak ain't just smoking tobacco. What is it? I'm I'm not sure if it is or not. I'm not sure. Grizzly is American snuff. Yeah, I know. Company. So you put it in the videos. Right, I didn't mean to put it. I don't know. Yeah, I can. I can't upload. If you get two strikes, you can't upload for two weeks. Yeah, but those strikes go away in a month. Yeah, I know. In three months. Yeah, I know. Cause it's probably gonna give me another strike just because I just put yeah smokes tobacco on my video, which is stupid. But they shouldn't. Yeah, smokes tobacco shouldn't be mad about it because it really helps them out. It really does because um that's gonna do it for this video. U T South Paul, I'll go check out your channel in a minute. Um, remember guys. Um. Save the lungs and beat the gums. Dipping quote. Um, you too, South Paul. You have a good day now because I, I, I mean. But uh, I'm just gonna do it for the side video. Bye.